Hi, I'm Jan. I did the modelling at SKH and you've been sent a SketchUp file so I just thought you probably may know all this but I just thought I'd run through some options so you can navigate yourself around the model so sorry if you, if you know all this already but I'll just just run through it quickly anyway okay so yeah these I've um, I'll just look at the toolbars I've got open I've just got construction measurements shadows and walks through that's just so I've closed down a lot of other ones to keep it a bit more cleaner so yeah move around all pretty obvious stuff okay and well let's see the tabs here are the scenes so different scenes are different scenes from the videos so you can click through them and navigate around the model that way that's quite good right and then measurement tool quite obvious for measuring and let's see what else have we got up here um, the the shadows you like the shadow one this one on the end if you want to switch the shadows on switch this little uh, box on here and it switches the shadows on uh, I generally when I'm working I keep the shadows off because unless you've got uh, it takes up a lot of memory and slow the model down so I'll switch that off the little information ones quite good because it gives you opens up another little box here and it gives you more detail so you can actually like if you click on there you can actually have more control of the time of day and here's the date so it's a slider or a little pull down menu here so you can actually choose the times uh, and then you can turn it off from this little box at the top again you have some you can now alter it here as well but I, f I prefer the more detailed one okay um another little thing is this this um this here this little chap you can um just place it somewhere in the model and it'll zoom in and I quickly and then y you can move around once you're inside oh i'm not actually inside there <laughs> okay when you're supposed to oh, there you go and it clicks to this little eye menu which is for looking around so you can scroll through with your mouse and then and then look around which is quite useful I'll you know or place this little chat there and he moves to any any place in your model and then use the little eyes to look around which is a bit different from the actually moving around the model oh, so my shadow settings are there still on so yeah and you can click on that little eye at any time just to to stay in the one spot and sort of look around but it defaults to it when you actually click the little little man there so that's quite nice and useful for when you're going around um, another important things um, here is if you go to the Windows tab and well I'll just show you the scenes there's uh, all the scenes and here you get little thumbnails so you can add more scenes or take scenes away and you go to other scenes and yeah just generally navigate around with the scenes okay but one of the most important things is layers alright so these are layers here so you can instead of having to negotiate yourself through the model try switching layers on and off um, so you have to just just have a play around really find out what you can't do any damage so so if you like take the roof of the old building off and then the top off and then you can have a have a look in and you can switch them all back on and yeah and it's quite very useful layers so yeah just have a have a little play around with that and uh, switch them back on again oh yeah and just whatever you whichever you want to do so yeah, you can't go wrong uh, and all the models grouped oh, let's click on here to select to select something yeah this is all the models grouped okay one other use very useful thing is the entity info and if you want to edit something you have to click on the group obviously to get to it so I've clicked on the group on the group and select the surface here this is a sort of living main living surf living room surface right click enter the info and you've got the square meter 
value there of that of that surface. I mean, it works on everything on the walls, and you get the square meter value. Uh, always remember, architects include the wall thicknesses as well. So if you add it up, and you, yeah, it's you have to include the wall thicknesses. But it's a good it's a good way of finding out just sort of general square meters of rooms and stuff. Also, if you click on a line, that will give you the length, which is quicker than measuring. If you just want to check a space or you know or anything, so you can just navigate through your model and so if you go so far fitting somewhere or a wall or a picture, then you can just you know just click on the line and all but that's that length. Okay, so that's quite easy. Right, I mean if you want to know anything more you can always just drop us a line. Uh Jana SKH Architects and I'll answer your thing, I'll just ask Sonia and she'll pass the message on if you want to know anything else, but other than that, just have a play around. You can't do any any harm anyway, because we've got copies of it. And yep, yeah, just just uh, hope that's some use for you. I can't think of anything else. You, I could go on forever, but um, not. I think that's that should be yeah, enough for you to play around. You probably know quite a lot anyway. Okay then, uh, have fun. <laughs> Bye.